What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, of course, with Game Time Brian, and we have been through the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Uh, shout out to the people who actually watched the live stream through there, seeing actually the Pro Football Hall of Fame. There's something about going through there and seeing all those busts and all yeah, those greats and stuff. Yeah, I man. I got a little reclaimed. A little bit. You this know, is neat. It really it, was. it's going to be cool tomorrow to see DeMarcus Ware going in, seeing Chuck Howley. Mind you, I want you, you Eagle fans and, and all of you, I know a lot of y'all don't care about the, the generations that came before you and stuff like that, and I get it. Uh, y'all don't want to think about us old people. But I want you to understand how great Chuck Howley was. The Cowboys lost that Super Bowl game to the Baltimore Colts. Chuck Howley was the MVP. Yep. On the losing team, he was the MVP. If that's not greatness, I don't know what is. And this or, is or before respect. advertising and make you know always picking the quarterback. Mm -hmm. This was best player on the field. Usually won the MVP. The fact that right. he went to a loser. Mm -hmm. Now they now they want the quarterback. They want of course the running back. Or yeah. the wide receiver, yeah, and usually not the wide receiver because somebody's got to be throwing it to them and it'll go to the quarterback. There you go. But, you know, we've got so much that's been made up about Dak Prescott and everybody thinking that Dak Prescott was a timid little mouse and that his teammates, you know, shut your bitch ass up. Yeah, you know, here's the thing. When you tell somebody to shut your bitch ass up, it's because they've been jawing at you, right? Yep. You know, it's like yep. shut, shut up. You know, because you, you had enough. Nerve. You, you yeah, know, I've got no, nerve. I've got no comeback. And we have actually found the clip of what Dak Prescott said to Diggs that literally set him off. I want you to check it out. Sucker, where did I turn? You didn't think I was gonna find you, did you? But I got you. I'm gonna bust your gun open and watch you die. Son. You white boy riding my brother out, send him to jail. Blue thirty. Get that fucking Blue money, go up. Let the blood do the time. Jack. You little Jack. bastard. Jack. Tell you my brother's thing to sell me. I'm gonna make you pay. You hear me, pop up? I'm gonna make you my sell me. Thirty. Thirty. You gonna have two hundred fifty pounds of this stuff? Yeah. So now we understand why. Diggs said, shut your bitch ass up. Man, I, look, look, he knew, he knew that he yeah, could not. Man. Now, here's the thing about football, okay? Apparently, those out there who are talking about, you know, oh, I can't believe he said something like that. You know, the NFL is trying to do a good job of saying that football is like golf. It's a, a sport of gentlemen and that everybody is friends. Look, I'm sorry. Football is brutal. Football is nasty. Football is war, and you have to understand that everything out there, everybody's trying to take your job. You think Charles Haley didn't talk shit to Steve Young? You are you telling me that? Are you telling me that he didn't talk? No, trust me. You telling me he didn't talk shit to Troy Aikman? I know how Charles Haley was. Charles Haley talked talked shit to people the on the Eagles defense. Quiz didn't talk shit on Troy oh. his rookie year when I was there when he got sacked eleven times and they didn't it's, know if he would ever yeah. amount to anything. Right. They so were, trust me. Woo. Football. There's a lot of okay. We're talking about grown men that are studs. Trash talking is key. Men that are the best of the best on their teams. You know, in high school, I mean, the elite players all, mm -hmm. you know, all going up against each other. Yeah. They're all alphas, man. And, and see, what you have to understand is that stuff will fire up the rest of the teammates and stuff and get them motivated. That fired so. me up. I hadn't seen that movie in a long time. Oh, man. And, and see, you know, that's the passion of it. That's where you have guys that actually give a shit. Now, see, Diggs, you have to think about it. This is how you really need to think about this stuff. See, Diggs just got paid. If it was one of those things, if this is just a job, hey, I got my guaranteed money. I got right. my salary. Yeah, exactly. Okay? You know, I ain't got to worry about a damn thing. Yep. Okay? I'm not worried about it uh, today or right. I'm not worried about it right now, like the song. I'm not worried about it right now. You know, Top Gun. He cares. He cares. And they were lighting up the defense. Regardless of the shit that you hear from the talking heads that Dak sucks and this, that, and the other, and they're trying to get rid of him, no, they love each other over there. But they are going to talk some smack because you want to get over on the other guys. So 
I hope you guys are having a great day. And um, we're still getting the business here to game day. Game time. What did I say? Game day. You're tired, man. You call me prime time. You call me game you know, day. I'm going to do a Bill game Cosby time. reference. I would like to talk to you. No, he would used to oh, do, he would say, come here, uh, Greg, uh, uh, oh, Tony, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or Bob, or what? what's your name again? Because you get old. And you just, People call me game time. Yeah. It's like, you People know. call me. He's prime time. Who cares? <laughs> prime I, time? I know what you meant. <laughs> they know what you meant. Okay. No big deal. At least I didn't say prime time. Or, or what did I say? Game, game prime? prime? Game Prime. It's all good, man. I, you know, people give me. Just like, here, just like the traffic. dude from the Hall of Fame there. You know, because I looked at him as like. Dude, and he was, looked at me he like. He looked like a cross between Lynn Swan and, and, and Tony Dorsett. Dorsett. I was I like, I know one. you. I know you. I'm, a Tony's older I'm looking. Man. I'm looking and I'm like, and it's like, is he a Hall of Famer? I don't know. But everybody, everybody's always messing with me. All right. I'll catch you later. Peace.